Hello. This is Fastec. Prior to the detailed product description, let me briefly introduce the Fastec EtherCAT product line. Here is a brand called Easy Servo. Easy Servo is a closed loop stepping system product line. And there is a brand called Easy Step. Easy Step is an open loop micro stepping system product line. Lastly, the brand Easy IO is an IO module product line including digital IO module, analog IO module, and high speed counter module. So, Fastec Ether Cat product line has the Easy Servo brand of the closed loop stepping system, the Easy Step brand of the open loop micro stepping system, and the Easy IO brand of the IO module. Let's take a look at each product brand one by one. First, Easy Servo brand. Easy Servo brand has five products including Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT, a standard type of closed loop stepping system, Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT TO, a torque off function supporting type, Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT Mini, a mini drive type, Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT 4X, a 4 axis drive type, and Easy Servo 2 EtherCAT All, an all in one type that combines a motor, a high resolution encoder, a drive, and EtherCAT network. Next, Easy Step brand. Easy Step brand has three products including Easy Step 2 EtherCAT, a standard type of open loop micro stepping system, Easy Step 2 EtherCAT Mini, a mini drive type, and Easy Step 2 EtherCAT 4X, a 4 axis drive type. Finally, Easy IO brand. Easy IO brand has four products including Easy IO EtherCAT DIO, a digital IO module, Easy IO EtherCAT AD, an analog input module, Easy IO EtherCAT DA, an analog output module, and Easy IO EtherCAT CNT, a high speed counter module. So, Fastec has a total of 12 EtherCAT products. Since there are various types of products, Fastec can provide EtherCAT total solutions. Among 12 types of products, I'd like to introduce the analog IO module, Easy IO EtherCAT AD, and Easy IO EtherCAT DA. First of all, I will explain the combination model name of Easy IO EtherCAT AD product. In the example model name, IO means input and output module, and EC means the product using the EtherCAT network. AD08 means that the product supports 8 analog input channels, and T means that terminal block is applied. Now let's check the features of Easy IO EtherCAT AD products. Firstly, Easy IO EtherCAT AD is a 8 channel analog input module which uses EtherCAT network. Easy IO EtherCAT AD supports CIA401 profile, which is a device profile for IO modules, and can be connected to EtherCAT master without any topology limitation. Also, all EtherCAT synchronization modes, free run, SM event, and DC sync event, are supported, so you can select a synchronization mode according to the purpose of use. Easy IO EtherCAT AD also supports voltage or current input mode. Easy IO EtherCAT AD supports 5 input modes. In case of using voltage input mode, there are 4 settings, minus 10 to 10 volts, minus 5 to 5 volts, minus 2.5 volts to 2.5 volts, and 0 to 10 volts. And, in case of using current input mode, the current input range is 0 to 20 mA. Easy IO EtherCAT AD converts analog input signals to digital data with the maximum resolution of 8191. For example, when voltage input range is 0 to 10 volts, the analog input signals are converted to digital value 0 to 8191 as shown here. In addition, a moving average filter is available for the analog signal input to each channel. If the input analog data fluctuates significantly due to noise, Moving average filter can make the data smooth and reduce the effect of noise. I will explain how this moving average filter works by using the example of significant analog input data fluctuation due to noise. When moving average filter function is activated, new analog input data is saved in the filter buffer as digital value in every analog conversion cycle 200 microseconds. Number of buffers are set with filter buffer length, and maximum number of buffers is 500. Here, filter buffer length is set as 5. As you can see, 5 input data values are added, and average value is calculated. And, new input data is saved in the filter buffer. When the next sampling data is input, the oldest data is deleted and the new input data is saved in the buffer in order. 
and the average value of five input values are calculated. You can see that the differences between the values are smaller, when moving average filter is applied. For the better understanding, I will compare the filter buffer input data and moving average output data with the graph. As you can see, moving average filter reduces the effect of noise and makes the input data smooth. As explained earlier, EasyIO EtherCAT AD provides terminal block type products. The ferrule terminals enable easy wiring, and analog peripheral devices such as various sensors can be easily connected with one touch. Lastly, EasyIO EtherCAT AD is compatible with major EtherCAT masters. Until now, I've introduced EasyIO EtherCAT AD. Next product I'd like to introduce is EasyIO EtherCAT DA, an analog output module using EtherCAT network. First of all, I will explain the combination model name of EasyIO EtherCAT DA product. In the example model name, IO means input and output module, and EC means the product using the EtherCAT network. DA04 means that the product supports four analog output channels, and T means that terminal block is applied. From now on, I will introduce the features of EasyIO EtherCAT DA. EasyIO EtherCAT DA is four-channel analog output module using EtherCAT network. And, EasyIO EtherCAT DA has same communication features as EasyIO EtherCAT AD. EasyIO EtherCAT DA also supports various voltage or current output mode. EasyIO EtherCAT DA supports six output modes. In case of using voltage output mode, there are four settings, 0 to 5 volts, minus 10 to 10 volts, 1 to 5 volts and 0 to 10 volts. And, in case of using current output mode, the current output ranges are 0 to 20 mA and 4 to 20 mA. EasyIO EtherCAT DA converts digital input data as converted to analog signal with the maximum resolution of 50,000. For example, when voltage output range is 0 to 10 volts, the digital input signals are converted to analog value minus 25,000 to 25,000 as shown here. Next, EasyIO EtherCAT DA provides output deviation calibration function. I will explain about user calibration of output deviation. Deviation in output signals can be occurred due to the various conditions such as connected devices, cables and connection methods. EasyIO EtherCAT DA product can reduce the deviation through calibration function. For example, when output range is 0 to 5 volts, digital value between 0 and 25,000 is supposed to be converted to 0 to 5 volts. However, due to the deviation, if the output value is 0.2 volts when digital value 0 is input and the output value is 5.2 volts when digital value 25,000 is input, it is inconvenient to set the digital value input range to minus 1,000 to 24,000 to get the correct value. However, if the low value of the calibration function parameter is set to minus 1,000 and the high value is set to 24,000, the actual output value is 0 to 5 volts through the calibration when the digital value is input in the range of 0 to 25,000. Also, EasyIO EtherCAT DA provides terminal block type products same as EasyIO EtherCAT AD. And it is also compatible with major EtherCAT masters. Until now, I've introduced EasyIO EtherCAT DA. Lastly, I will show you the demonstration video of analog input module and analog output module using EtherCAT network. The product names used in this demonstration are as follows. This is EasyIO EtherCAT AD product. As you can see, when analog signal is input by applying pressure to the load cell, the signal is converted to the digital signal and displayed in the PC. And, analog input signal of volume knob is converted to digital signal. Also, analog input signal of proximity sensor which changes to according to distance is also converted to digital signal. Next, this is EasyIO EtherCAT DA product. Digital signal input through HMI is converted to analog signal. Until now, I've introduced analog input output module EasyIO EtherCAT AD and DA. On the Fastec website www.fastec-motions.com, you can download product-related materials such as catalogs, manuals, drawings, and watch demonstration videos, and webinars. 
Also, if you search Fastec on YouTube, you can see about more than 100 demonstration and webinar videos. Thank you for listening.